So, hey guys, Chaoso here. So yeah, I've been playing around a bit with the new Brook event. It has a cost restriction. You can't have units that cost more than 50. So yeah, this means you want to mostly use Unevolved Legends. So yeah, if you haven't saved them until now, you might want to start doing it. Uh, I'll see later if I can make something with an accessible captain and maybe a, a friend captain animal legend or something. But yeah, I just made two quick teams uh, now when I woke up. So yeah, I'll return to this event later, maybe tomorrow, maybe later this week, we'll see. But yeah, first we have a versus Kaido team. Uh, I increased the special level of my own Kaido by two levels. Or I wanted to make it by two, but I think it ended up being three. But yeah, two levels is good because that means you only need to stall. You can stall two turns less. But yeah. So yeah, we're going to stall to get Kaido ready for later. And yeah, the, all both teams have made meet all the Shopperman requirements. The Shopperman requirements is that you need a... Uh, Luffy, a Zoro, an Usopp, a Brook, and a Frankie. And yeah, this team has that. Uh, of course, if you don't run any of the five as captains, you need to run a five star Luffy Zoro, which is what I have on this team. And yeah, we're saving all the specials for the fourth and fifth stage since there's a lot you need to deal with there. Uh, this stage is a bit annoying since you get blinded and then you get barriers. But yeah, with this team we aim to take out two of the mobs uh, this first turn. And then get some ship on the last one. Uh, there's actually not... like there's sm minor RNG here but need to remember that the Usopp unit here has barrier pen. Frankie might have it too when it's limit broken. I haven't done that personally. So yeah, moving on. And yeah, we're going to use uh, the Frankie here. Set defense to zero. We also swap the Fissor to strength. Co uh, we have Barto to reduce defense. Uh, we take a 50k hit when we kill Nami, which is why we have the marine ship, because we need all the HP we can get to survive. So yeah, we have enough damage even with the marine ship, so it's fine. Missed a perfect there, but yeah, whatever. You just need to make sure you hit three perfects. Okay, final stage. And yeah, what we have to deal with final stage is uh, we get seed reversed. We have for uh, some uh, despair. We have some attack down and block orbs. So yeah, first uh, we use Usopp. He reduces CD and removes the attack down. We use Kaido, get an attack boost, remove the block orbs. Now it's just the spear left and Brook deals with that with his special. This is the Kisna rare recruits Brook, by the way. And yeah, Brook has resilience too, but for this team, Kaido has end of turn damage, so no problems. And yeah, even if he hadn't, we could have just run the Dawn Creek ship. So yeah. Moving on to the next thing, which is a bit more exciting for me personally, because it's a lot cooler. We use double unevolved Kung Fu Luffy Captain. And yes, yeah, some might think that this is just for uh, memes, but I do want to point out that uh, KFL Special is very good for this. Especially for stage 4, since he has Damage Threshold Special. So when you use uh, KFL Special Stage 4, you take barely no damage when you kill that stage. And we also have a lot of HP Trout to run with Aura Jackson and a, and a full Free Spirit Slasher team. So yeah, it's decently safe too. 
There's some minor orb RNG, but if you want to avoid it, just make sure you get a strength orb on Brook. I didn't this round, but yeah, if you get that, then every time Brook hits a perfect, he keeps the strength orb. I think Frankie has a similar thing with Psy orbs, maybe. Uh, I forgot to double check that. But yeah, we did install so much because we'll be staying here for a while. Uh, this first turn, we really want to take out this Dex unit. So yeah, the easier perfect, or the quick unit, the easier perfect so from our reaction helps here. And yeah, now we can just slowly kill these guys. I'd save the strength unit, uh, the Dex unit for last, because obviously Usohachi has barrier pan. So you can like choose whenever you want to kill this guy. And yeah, we basically want to burst when Luffy is at 3 CD. So we can just fish for matching orbs while we wait. See, I'm, I'm ensure now that the whole team has matching orbs, or like uh, Kung Fu Luffy is a uh, uh, tap timing captain, so the more perfect you hit, the higher captain ability he gets. So you want to think about who you hit first with and last with mainly. So yeah, moving on. We're going to stall one turn here. The Usopp has Kony support, so we're going to hit one perfect, remove one turn of death up. And then when we hit the next perfect, we will have removed all of the death up. So yeah, Kung Fu Luffy. Another cool thing with him is that all his buffs are two turns. So we get two turns of attack up, we get two turns of damage threshold, and two turns of easier perfects. So that's very cool, since we don't do enough damage here, one turn. So we do need to two turn this Naomi. And yes, you see we do a bit over half. So all we need now is one matching orb and we'll do enough damage. Uh, I had to rely on RNG for this run, but as I said, if Brook has a strength orb, there's no RNG here. The only issue can be if you have too little CC, for example. This Brook is a very good unit to limit break expand, by the way. He goes down a lot in CD and he has a very unique special, like both handling block orbs and giving color affinity. And of course it's a Brook unit, so he has a lot of good support, so I recommend that. And yeah, as said for this stage, we need some seed reduction. We need to remove resilience, we need to remove block orbs, the spear, attack down, and we also need buffs. And yeah, we have Pedro to remove some of the despair and attack down. Usohachi reduces CD. We use Frankie to remove the despair and attack down. But you need to use him first since he removes beneficial effects. Brook color affinity and removes block orbs. Kung Fu Luffy for attack buff. And we use Zoro for ore boost for slashers and powerhouse. And also uh, kosher support which removes the resilience and gives a chain boost. And yeah, we, need, we want to hit with Brook Glass now, since he's a slasher, so he gets the ore boost from Sorrow, and he will do a ton of damage here. So yeah, very fun team. So yeah, I'll do more teams for this later. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.